What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be doing a gameplay with the Diamond Tobias Harris. So guys, we've already done gameplays with the Lillard. We have already done a gameplay with the Yanis. And obviously compare the Yanis to the Pink Diamond. And this is the final of the new cards that are out today. And to be honest, I know we've actually been doing really, really well in the last over the last couple of days. We've done really well getting card gameplays with almost all the high rated cards. But I don't think that's going to be really feasible after... Actually, no. Tom tomorrow, definitely not. Tomorrow, there is no chance of me being able to get a gameplay out with all the cards. And after tomorrow, maybe I'll be able to get a good few out for the next week or two. But then we're into exam week in college and I won't be able to. So, I'm going to get as many up while I can. And then when, obviously, when it has to slow down, it's going to slow down. But we've got Magic Johnson at the 1, Paul George at 2, LeBron at the 3, Tobias Harris at the 4, and David Robinson at the 5. The bench, we've got Tracy McGrady, Kevin Durant, Kurlenko, Carmelo, and Sabonis, with Kyle Kuzma, James Harden, and Larry Bird rounding off the bench. To be completely honest with the center position, I, f apart from David Robinson and Sabonis, I don't really like really any of them. Greg Oden is my third best center in the game. I don't have Will Chamberlain. And with my play style, maybe Hakeem. There is no re other real centers, except for a guy that I have completely forgot about who I'm going to replace Sabonis with. Why do I keep forgetting about this guy on my PC squad? Mo Bamba is going into the squad. Yes, he is going in. But um, anyway, now let's go over the stats for Tobias Harris. 97 offense, 91 defense, but overall 6'9". He has got four Hall of Fame badges, hustle rebounder, corner specialist, catch and shoot, and deep range. Then I, he has got 12 gold badges, including, please tell me Limitless is one of them. Nope. So I'm going to have to apply Limitless. And I only have three of them left. Thank God we're probably getting 20th anniversary packs on Friday. So at least I'll be able to stock up on limitless range by just then when they go down a lot in price. But on PC, they are super expensive right now. He's at 91 standing, 87 driving layup. Not the best, but not the worst either. His post hook and fadeaway are both not great. He's at an open shot mid of 88, open shot 3 of 96. What? A 96 shot 3? That's crazy. 95 free throw. He has got a 75 driving dunk. Only 76 ball control, so unfortunately he can't speed boost. And like if he was a small forward, they'd be able. I think there'd be ways that you get him speed boost. But unfortunately, he's a power forward. He has got a 65 steal, not great, not a great block or shot contest. He has got great rebounding stats, good speed, speed ball acceleration, especially for a power forward. Not great lateral quickness, okay on ball and okay low post defense IQ. So honestly, with the low shot contest and small height, he's not really going to be much of a defender. He is just going to be a sharp shooter. By the looks of it, he is Pink Diamond Kyle Kuzma. D97 or 96 doesn't really matter. He has Pink Diamond Kyle Kuzma without the ability to speed boost. That is literally what this card seems. Pink Diamond 97 overall Kuzma without the ability speed boosting ability. Which is probably not that bad. If this card ends up being really cheap, it might be too bad. But then again, we got to see what he's like in an actual game. Historically, I've liked his release. So he uh, should be quite good. So anyway, now let's go over his release in his hot zones. Then we're going to get on to the game. So his Bias Harris is hot zones everywhere outside the three, as well as most spots inside the three. His release is very, very similar to Kyle Kuzma's. If you guys have used them, his release is money. Like some people were actually, when I had my best release squad, a lot of people were saying Tobias Harris, even though he didn't have that many like really high rated cards. He did have an Amethyst, but Tobias Harris can be money in this game. I'm not going to say he's the best shooter in the world, but he can shoot the ball really, really well. Especially if left open. He got goal limitless. He's got deep range dead eye. As far as pick and pop jump shooters go, he may be one of the most deadly in the game. Going to the basket, his dunking will be okay. He's got a wide body, so he might be all right at kind of defending just for that reason more so than anything else. Post hook and fadeaway are acceptable. They're an acceptable level, but they're not anything spectacular. So yeah, this card, I'm not going to say he's going to be the best card in the game, but he should be quite nice. Ooh, that was nice there. Alright, step back animation is quite nice, but I don't expect to be shooting too many step backs with him. But yeah, he is a definitely, definitely a nice card. And now let's just green 1-3. Well, he's going to be a nice shooter when he's open anyway. It's getting him open that's going to be the hard part. But now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing Curry, Mullen, Carter, Kuzma, and Greg Oden. So they can all shoot the ball, I guess. And it's Kuzma versus probably slightly worse Kuzma, which is an interesting matchup. Uh, let's see if he's uh, off-balling. Okay, nice layup to start the game. I cannot believe with the new shot contest, that's contest. 
Like, I literally sat there while he took a shot in my face with an unbelievable shooter. Tobias Harris right to the basket. Easy dunk. Let's go. Good start to the game. Four points in last, well, in just over 30 seconds. Toss it up. And Tobias Harris with the dunk. That was a great pass there by Robinson. I didn't know he had that in his arsenal. Get it left LeBron. Spin in. In the corner. For three. Green light, David Robinson. Three ball. Off. Not a great release. Here we got him on the roll. Take him up. Take him up again. Step through. Good finish by Tobias Harris. He's yet to hit a jump shot, which is like his main asset, but he still has eight points. Tobias Harris on the break. He gets a dunk. All right, he's got sharpshooter, and I wonder what the other takeover is. Probably slasher. Actually, no, probably classmate. Okay, I kind of needed to connect off that one. Good job, Tobias Harris. He's actually doing all right. Everything except shooting, because I've not yet been able to get a shot off with him. 95 free throw rating as well. This is great. That was a terrible release, and he still managed to put it in. Lee Green second. That'll do. Oh, just throw it up. Great pass there by Magic. Great dunk. So we've actually built up quite a big lead in here so far in this game. Can I got that? Mo Bamba in the corner. Can't hit the shot. They 110% nerfed Mo Bamba's release. Like, there was a stage where he greened every one of them. Green light. That's way too wide open for T-Mac. Good shot, T-Mac. There we go. Come on. We gotta pull this way. Let him bring it back to 11. Nice spin. Good finish, Tobias Harris. Okay, he actually got space on him. Tobias Harris with the layup. Just maybe. He got gold. Okay, we gotta find LeBron. Straight back to Tobias Harris. Steps in and makes a tough layup. 21st half points. Not a bad showing at all for him. Okay, that's a good contest there. I just haven't been able to get any separation of pick and pops. But I'm not sure if he's missed anything that isn't a three-pointer. Good shot. Come on, hit a three-pointer to buy his arrows. That one should have definitely gone in. Oh, nice block. Please, please just hit one. Hit one! You've done it. He's done everything unbelievably well. Except the one thing he's meant to do. Hit threes. <laughs> Zex, let's have a look at the box score. He has missed one shot from inside the three-point line. One. Like he's literally 10 for 11 from two. And the one thing he's meant to be really good at is shooting threes. And he's not doing that well at all. Like he's dominating. He's dominating the game. But the one thing that sets him apart from a lot of guys' position, he's, can't, he's not doing well at all. Nice spin. Nice layup to buy his arrows. Like, he's class. He's absolutely class. I just need to start hitting threes with him. Oh, my God. Like, he hasn't missed inside. Like, he literally has not missed inside. Just maybe. Just maybe. For three. Finally! Tobias Harris hits a three-point shot. Okay. They're literally not defending magic there. They're double teaming him while there's a guy under the basket. I know he's gonna take over, but that is not a smart play to make. What the hell type of animation was that? But I'll take it, I guess. Good finish by Bamba. Good steal. Out running. Stop. Full white. And he knocks down the three. Shot there by Tobias Harris. Burn him right to the basket. Oh no, the stupid spin turnover, hip steal. I hate that animation this year so much. I hate the hip steal animation is so bad. You literally can't drive in and spin at all. But good job there by Harris. A new 24. Let's attack. And attack hard. They're literally expecting us to give every pass to Tobias Harris. So we gotta hit our other shooters. Oh, spin through the middle of both of them and Tobias Harris makes the layup. Okay, he's cut back door. Fake. Got him jumping. Easy layup. Three ball. Knocks it down. Wide open, Paul George. Green light. Good pass there. Tobias Harris ended with 43, 4, and 3. That is a really, really solid game. So in the end, Tobias Harris missed six shots. He missed one shot in the fourth, three in the third, 
two in the first half. I mean, three of seven from three in the end, which is not a bad percentage, especially considering the fact that he missed his first four. But after that, he barely missed the whole game. Tobias Harris was, oh, sorry, three of eight from three. Tobias Harris was unbelievable in that game. So anyway, that's the video. I have no idea what price Tobias Harris is going to go for. But what I am pretty confident of is that he is going to go for a lot less than what he's worth. He is a underrated hidden gem. He's got some really nice animations. He's good in the post. He can play at the four. He can actually play as a stretch four. He can got a wide body. He rebounds really well. So he actually is a very, very comparable card to a Pascal Siakam. Even though they don't really seem it, you'd say Siakam is way better. Siakam is better in almost everything except three-point shooting, and that's almost identical. But from using them, I honestly think when you include animations and stuff, they are very, very similar cards. And I would honestly think maybe Tobias Harris is better. Offensively, he's a beast. Defensively, he's okay. And a really great card. Underrated card, without doubt. Do I think he's an elite tier power forward? No. Do I envision myself using him much? No. But if you are on a budget and he ends up being cheap, I think in the next week he will go down to being quite cheap. I think he could be a great pickup. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.